Well, well that's the way it happens sometimes. Why can't it happen that way with us? Yeah, we're doing everything humanly possible. We're on the waiting list of practically every adoption agency in the known world. We even make love once in a while. You hear the way your mother asked if we were still trying. Look, she doesn't mean it like that. She's just trying to show she cares. Now, why are you being so hard on yourself, huh? I know. Just sometimes I feel so inadequate. Eventually, we are going to have a baby. It's just a matter of time. As you know, this is where we remove the obstructions to open the fallopian tubes to allow you to conceive. Right here, right there. And that surgery was a little more than a year ago. Are you saying it didn't take? Oh, no, no, not at all. No, the surgery was successful in opening your passages. But if you remember, we waited five months for the reconstructive surgery to heal before beginning the treatments. I remember. Look, I have to say something. I mean, coming into an office to do artificial insemination is very stressful on a relationship. And, well, you both have just been great through it all. The implants aren't working, are they? Since your recuperation, six menstrual cycles have elapsed. And still, there's no fertilization. Now, this happens in about 20% of the couples that we see. And statistically, it's not very good. Realistically. Your chances of having a baby are pretty slim. But there are plenty of other options to consider. In vitro fertilization, surrogate parenting, adoption. There are plenty of options. I'm not morally opposed to having a test tube baby. It's just that it's so experimental. And impersonal. And to get involved with a surrogate mother, I, I mean, that's all right for some people, I guess. But doesn't that strike you as bizarre? Yeah. Well, just think of all the diapers we'll never have to change. What are we going to do? For now, we're going to go home and take the rest of the afternoon off. I can't, Greg. The design department can survive one day without its merchandise manager. I have to call New York. New York can wait. Don't make me beg. By the way, do you remember that piece in the travel section about the Chateau country? Mm-hmm. I sent away for some more information. I think it's about time for the Wilkerson's to hit Paris. Mm. Craig, thank you for 
making the most miserable day of my life really quite nice. Don't mention it. Mm. I don't want to sound too selfish, but uh, it's going to be just you and me in this world. I think I could manage to have a fairly wonderful life. I'm afraid it may end up that way. I called uh, Mrs. Kroger at the adoption agency again, and it was not very encouraging. What did she say? It's so frustrating talking to her. It's, you're still on the list, dear. It's... She's been saying that for two and a half years. She says she's trying. It's just that there aren't that many healthy infants available anymore. Face it, Bonnie. This woman is not going to find us a baby. I think it's time to contact that lawyer Dr. Grevy recommended. You know as well as I do that if you stick with the agency route, you're looking at five more years, minimum. If you go with me, I can safely say that 75% of my clients receive a healthy newborn within the first year. Uh, that's what we don't understand. Now, how do you find these babies when the agencies tell us that there's a chronic shortage? It's because we're paying for it. Not true. You can't buy a human being. All you're paying for is the mother's medical expenses and my fees as an attorney. Average costs run about $7,500. The truth is you're a broker, a baby broker, right? The truth is I'm an attorney in private practice who's been successfully placing babies with families for 13 years. And if you want references, I'd be more than happy to provide them. We just need to know how you get access to these babies. Because of my philosophies, a lot of physicians steer their patients to me instead of the agencies. I believe that everything should be open and on the table. I believe all the parties should meet each other rather than keeping the records sealed. I don't know about that. But don't you think a birth mother has a right to choose a family for her baby? I do. Don't you want to know the history of the child you're adopting? I would. If the mother knows who we are, wouldn't that cause problems? You're legally protected as you would be in any adoption. What you should concern yourself with is finding a healthy, happy infant. Uh, what do we have to do? Greg. Yeah? If I keep smiling like this, my face is going to fall off. Something's wrong with the timer. You want to check it? Maybe I better check it. Dr. Weston. Check. Dr. White. Check. Dr. Ziegler. Yep. That's the list. You really think we're going to get a response? Well, Sydney says that sending these to the doctors en masse is the best way to track down a baby. Would you give your baby to these people? It only takes one, honey. Just one. Contraction begins. Take a deep cleansing breath and blow it out. Start your slow breathing in your effleurage. Keep your focal points. Contractions peaking. Okay, contractions starting to subside. And contraction ends. Take a deep cleansing breath. Blow it out. And relax. Good, how'd that feel? Okay. okay, we're going to go on to the next level of breathing that you'll be using during active labor when your contractions are stronger and faster. Bye. 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 So, have you been laying off the junk food? And the pizza? I haven't even had a cigarette in three months. I know. I'm impressed. Well, I figure the least I could do is give this little guy a shot at some clean air, right? <laughs> are things any better at home? That good, huh? Oh, good old mom. See, this morning she asked me how the little bastard was. I mean, what's the point? As soon as I have enough money, I'm going to find a place for my own. Oh, one step at a time, Kimberly. Yeah. Well, I got to go. Hey, you've made some real strides since you started coming here. You should feel real good about that. <laughs> my husband. Janet, giving up this baby, it's the right thing to do, isn't it? Well, let's backtrack. And when you first came to the social service office, you were already three months pregnant. You didn't know whether you wanted an abortion or a one-way ticket to Topeka. 
You told me that you didn't think you could handle raising a child by yourself. And that your first priority was to get your life together, right? Right. Well, what's changed since then? Nothing. It's just, I have this life in there, you know? I mean, it's incredible. Oh, I just can't wait till this whole thing's over. You actually sent the shipment back. Yep. All right, what did you say? I said your merchandise is as shoddy as your business practices. You said that? Yes. <laughs> An executive in the making. My prediction is, you keep that up, they're going to make you a vice president before the year is out. That's the plan. Congratulations, young lady. You see what she weighs, count her fingers and toes, and then you get a chance to hold her. Dr. Ying? Dr. Ying, Dr. Ying, we're not allowed to let the it's mothers have... Right. It's not all right. There are strict procedures governing closed adoptions, and I can't... She's worked hard. This is her moment. Oh, don't take it away from her. You mean I don't get to hold my own baby? I wish you could. us a baby. What? The, the, the adoption lawyer called? No, the agency. The agency. The agency called us. The adoption yes. agency. Yes. What? What did they say? Yeah, I'm Mrs. Wilkerson. It's a girl. That's all I heard. Mother experienced? Totally inexperienced. It's me. I'm the mother. You're kidding. Hey, that's terrific. You're hardly showing. Well, that's because I'm adopting. Look at these little. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know what I meant, but congratulations. Thank you. Well, what do you need? Uh, just about everything. I need a crib, stroller, clothes. When do you need a bike? Tomorrow morning. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's wrong? Hi. <laughs> Promise you won't get angry. You spent that much, huh? Wait till you see this chair I got. It pulls out into a bear. A bear? Yeah, it has arms and legs and... I, well, I can't really describe it, but it is the cutest thing you've ever seen. And the best thing is they said they would deliver everything this afternoon. I mean, that's got to be worth something. And it's... What is all that? It's a portable video system. You bought more stuff than I did. Well, you want to make home movies, don't you? I mean, if we can't spoil our own baby, who can't?